It's the tough reality of the situation. All the probability, all the statistics point towards the fact that as you start this Twitch journey, you are most likely... You've wanted to start a live stream for forever. But now, new year, new me, all that jazz, you're finally getting it done. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you all the things that you need to think about or you may not be considering so that you can start a successful stream in 2022. This video is sponsored by the wonderful folks over at placeit.net. They provide awesome stuff for streamers and I'll tell you about them a little bit later on. Common misconception when everybody wants to start streaming, myself included, is that everything has to be 100% perfect from the get-go. You need the best camera, the best computer, the coolest logo, the most amazing transitions and scenes on your OBS. That's not true. What I'd like for you guys to think about is the idea of the MVP, the minimum viable product. The idea behind that is that you should strive to have one really good solid product or stream in this case that just works. Can we hear you? Can we see you if you're using a camera? And is your gameplay running faster than two frames a second? If you look at day one on my stream versus day 365, the difference is outstanding. However, if I started with everything I had on day 365 on day one, I wouldn't learn anything and wouldn't know what's actually beneficial for my stream and my content style. You don't need to start worrying about adding all these bells and whistles straight away and cluttering up something that you haven't perfected. What you really need to consider doing is perfecting what you have before you go and add all these things. Once you have reached a limitation and it's stopping you creating better content, that's when you need to maybe expand on your MVP, right? But you can't just say from day one, oh, well, I've got a Logitech C920 as a webcam and I'm being really limited about that because I don't have four 4K and I don't have depth of field and I don't have all these things behind me. That's not a limitation. You having a blurred background isn't stopping you making better content than everybody else. If you're planning on starting to stream in 2022, and let's say your goals are a little bit higher than having some fun, you know, playing games with your friends and having some footage to look back on. Let's say your aspirations are a little bit higher than that. You have to ask yourself from day one, and I'm telling you, if you don't ask yourself this, you will regret it down the line. How much of your resources are you actually willing to put into this? I mean, time energy, money, all these things, what are you willing to put in? Because if you're someone who wants to come on Twitch and start to stream for eight hours a day, 12 hours a day plus, in the hopes that, hey, I'm gonna nail it, I'm on that grind set, I'm just gonna grind my way through it, that is gonna end poorly for you. Streaming for that long, is unhealthy for a multitude of reasons. And I know the bigger names in Twitch do that, but just because they do that doesn't mean that you can hop on day one with whatever other responsibilities you have in your life that most likely isn't realistic for 99% of people. It is not the required thing for you to do on this platform to grow. I'm talking about allocating from the very get-go a set stream time. I'm gonna stream for this long, this many days a week. Be that an hour every two days or four hours, three days a week. It doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. What does matter is that you allocate a time that A, you can do. Not everyone can sit there five days a week and stream for 12 hours. It's just not manageable. Time that you can commit to regularly and a time that allows you to manage all your other responsibilities as well. Maybe you're on a break from school or a break from college or you're between jobs. You're not always gonna be able to commit that same amount of time. So make sure you decide on something that you can commit that exact same amount of time to. It is far more beneficial for your growth to stream consistently and shortly as opposed to inconsistently for hours at a time. If you are planning as someone who can say, yeah, I can stream for eight hours, on Twitch, easy, I've all that energy, I can do that every day, I play video games that long anyway. And if your goal is to grow your channel into something more than just a little hobby, would it not be more beneficial for you to say, right, I'm willing to work for eight hours a day on this. Instead of working for eight hours streaming live, I'm gonna stream for four hours. And then gonna spend that other four hours coming up with TikTok ideas, filming and editing those TikTok ideas, making a YouTube video, growing my following on Twitter through engaging tweets, making posts on Instagram. This is the reality, right? These are all the things that you have to basically be doing if you wanna grow as a content creator online. So even if you stream for eight hours a day, you're still gonna have to do all this stuff later if you really wanna grow. So now you've gone from working from eight hours and you've accomplished both those goals to streaming for eight hours and then finishing your stream and coming off and spending another four hours to five hours editing and coming up with ideas when you're so tired that you can barely keep your eyes open. And as a result, you're making bad content. So allocate your time wisely from the get-go. I made this mistake when I first started. I used to stream from nine in the morning till 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I would take an hour break for lunch, end my stream, and then start my stream again from two till six. It made no sense. I did this five days a week when I had like three viewers. Realized it was doing nothing for my numbers and nothing for my energy, both creatively and physically. So think about your time and resource allocation from the get-go. Trust me, future you will thank you. Hi, interrupt, inter, inter, interruption, interruption time. <laughs>
If you're a streamer like me who is not the greatest at graphic design and, you know, can't do it themselves, Place It is where you need to go. If you need a logo for your stream, panels, transitions, social media posts that can make your go live tweets or Instagram stories pop, Place It is where you need to go. You can design all of this stuff and more on Place It without ever having to leave the platform and it is super, super, super affordable. They have templates specifically geared towards Twitch and YouTube and live streaming that you can edit and make completely your own. You can upload your own assets into them or even use ones that you've created there on Place It and download everything once you are done. It's super handy. I use it all the time and I highly recommend checking it out if you are somebody who wants to give your channel or your social medias a design boost in 2022. Big thank you to Place It again for sponsoring today's video. You can check them out in the link below and you can also save yourself a big discount on the website if you're signing up by using code X2Shoes at checkout. That's enough for me. Back to the video. Interruption done. Social media. Create it, have it, be on it, use it. Now, I'm not saying that you have to create a Twitter page, a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and be posting on all of them multiple times a day. No, but have at least one or two social medias that you are active on. For like me, I'm extremely active on Twitter. I'm comfortable with Twitter and I use it. I also use Instagram a lot. This is where your target demographic are. This is where you need to advertise and communicate with your viewers and potentially new viewers and other members of your target audience. There's a few things you need to do when you set up a social media as a streamer. Are you going to create a brand new page just for your streams in which all you do is talk about streaming or are you going to take your existing personal social media like I did and rebrand it into more of a content persona and don't make it just a link dump for your stream you're sending your twitch links straight into the ether right make it a personal page to talk to people to engage with people to show people some cool videos I don't know use it it's yours do what you like with it but don't make it a purely advertising platform and most importantly with this engage with other streamers follow big streamers follow small streamers learn the tone of voice learn how they speak to each other see what type of content they post see what does well see what doesn't do well drink it all in and all of these things by learning this this is what truly allows you to network with each other if you're a new streamer you're going to be hearing that word network thrown around a lot this isn't just responding to a tweet or jumping in somebody's chat telling somebody, oh, I'm a streamer too, cool. No, it's not. There's a lot more to it, but you can't effectively do that if you're not speaking the same language as everyone else. Social media is where you will learn all this. And you learn by doing, by tweeting, by responding to tweets, by reading replies to tweets, by looking at popular Twitter threads. All of these things help for that. Definitely start on social media if you are not already. Watch other streamers, both big and small. You need to be watching people with two viewers and with 200,000 viewers. See what they do. See how they speak to chat. What do they do if there's a break in the conversation? What do they do if they're quiet? What happens when somebody says something bad in chat? How do they entice their viewers to talk? How do they entice their viewers to follow them? All these things are super important. I'm not saying to copy exactly what XQC does on his stream or don't copy exactly what Ludwig does on his stream or what Pokimane does on her stream or Emery or any of these big people, but you can absolutely take influence from how they manage their channels. I watch people who make similar videos to me here on YouTube. I've watched people who make similar content to me on Twitch. Be inspired by these people. Don't copy them. A big thing of this is passively watch these people. You don't need to announce that you're a streamer. You don't need to use your own emotes in the chat straight away if you have them. Trust me, do not have an agenda when you do this. Don't have an agenda that like, I'm here to tell people that I'm a streamer so that way they'll come follow me too. Hey, maybe they're a small streamer. Maybe we can support one another. No, it doesn't work like that. You're there to learn. You're there to sit in the back of the class, chat with people, have a good time, but don't go in with an agenda because then you won't pay attention to what you actually need to be learning. And finally, ask yourself who you want to be on the platform and then ask yourself, what is preventing you from being that person? Is it a lack of time? Is it a lack of trying? Is it a lack of motivation or drive? Do you have tendencies to be lazy? Do you have tendencies to not fully see things through? Identifying the kink in your armor is the first step to fortifying it. You gotta ask yourself who you wanna be. Do you wanna be the casual streamer on the platform who builds a small happy community and is happy with that? Or do you have aspirations to be something bigger? And if so, you gotta ask yourself, right, how do I get there? And the answer to that question, the how, isn't going to just pop into your brain after you watch this video. Unfortunately, I can't give you the answer to that question, but I can give you this. If you stick to your guns, if you really develop as a streamer and as an entertainer and as a content creator, becoming a better commentator, becoming a better talker, becoming more creative and original with your ideas, which are all skills you can practice, by the way, doing all those things and growing as that person will help you answer that question. It's not gonna happen overnight, but it will happen. It's the tough reality of the situation. All the probability, all the statistics point towards the fact that as you start this Twitch journey, you are most likely going to fail.
There's very few streamers out there who just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every time they streamed or every time they got on their channels. Very few people experience growth like that. It happens, but very few people experience this. Here's where you turn this around. It's not about how you fail. It's about how you come back from that failure. I have seen this time and time again on my channel where one day I have a really great stream and I get a lot of new followers and the views were awesome only to check my creator dashboard the next day to notice that I lost half those followers and that my next streams had half the viewership or a quarter of the viewership or you get super excited for a game you want to play and the views look really good and all those type of things only for you then to stream that game and no one watches you. This is what separates streamers who do and streamers who don't is that you have to take those failures in your stride. I fucking love when I fail right? Because it teaches me what not to do going forward or teaches me to come at that idea from a different angle. It's the people who consistently take that failure in their stride. They're the ones that make it. Prove me wrong. Write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a notebook and look at it in a year's time and comment on this video and tell me, yeah, you were wrong, Dan. I made it on Twitch. Every one of you can do well in this platform, but not all of you will be able to push yourself to do that. So which one are you going to be? If you're starting a Twitch stream this year, let me know what your plans are down below for your growth. And if you've been streaming for a while, let me know what you've learned down below as well. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do consider subscribing super close to 10K here on the channel, which is amazing. Also a massive happy new year to all of you. I can't wait to see what you all do in 2022 and thank you for being such an amazing part of this community and supporting me here on the channel. Leave a like on the video as well if you thought it was informative and you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash x2shoes four days a week, five days a week, four or five other links to support me down below such as Patreon and the like. Check it out if that's your thing. Big thank you to all my patrons this month. Here is their names. Thank you all very kindly and a big thanks to my channel members as well. If you want to become a channel member, the button is either here or here. I really appreciate you all. Thank you kindly. I made a video recently that includes 20 streaming tips that all streamers should know about. And if you're about to start your streaming journey or you've just started, or hey, maybe you just forgot some stuff, definitely check that out. It's right here. That's enough. Peace. Going over here. Tangled in my headphones. Bye.